Okay, we're at Webster Groves High School, another uh, beautiful school uh, built in 1889. Uh, great, uh, great place to go to school. Oh, sweet bird of youth, why'd you have to fly? I wish I was back in high school. Sometime. Oh, come on, you wouldn't want to go back to high school. Oh. Yeah, you know, knowing what I know now, I think that'd be kind of fun, really. I, you know? Look, you have to turn the page, Ed. You can't go back in time. Well, maybe someday we can get go back in time. I like what John Lennon once said. People would always ask, when are the Beatles getting back together? He said, we'll get back together when you go back to high school. Oh, that's so, a good point. <laughs> yeah. Well, let's talk about Webster Groves High School. And what's the team? Um, well, they're the statesmen because Daniel Webster, which Webster Groves is named for, was considered the great American statesman 150 years ago. And then uh, how many students uh, are there at Webster Groves High School? Lots. Lots. Well, it's, <laughs> it's 1,000, what's it? I think it's almost 1,500 or 2,000, something like that. It's I haven't probably. stopped to count them, but uh, there's a lot of them, yeah. And then who was who the president that came here on these steps right here? William Jefferson Clinton. He All spoke right. here and he was, uh, he was uh, actively involved in Webster Groves politics. All right, and, and anything else to add about Webster Groves High School? Oh, well, the they play the turkey game. Oh, that's right. Every Thanksgiving against Kirkwood, their arch rivals, the pioneers of Kirkwood. And uh, it's a uh, great rivalry, goes back over 100 years. Uh, it's what I find interesting is when one of the teams or the other is in the championship, they have to play the JV squads play. Oh, that's other. right. That's yeah, right. So that happens a lot. Either Webster's in the championship or Kirk was in the championship. And basketball, they've had some really good ba basketball teams at uh, yeah. Webster yeah, from high uh, school. It's a uh, it's a really good school. Well, you're you have a connection to Webster. Tell us about your. Well, I'm from um, not from Webster, but I've been living in Webster Groves for, jeez, 18 years. No, 19. Oh, and. Um, no, I, all my children have gone through you know, with the, well, I got one left, and she's going to be a senior, and she's going to be happy as can be when she gets out of there, I hope. I bet, and you're going to be happy you're not paying that tuition anymore. Yeah, yeah you know what, that's my, my choice, my choice. What, what am I going to do? Buy a car. <laughs> <laughs> well, that'd be kind of nice. Uh, kid, uh, um, would you rather have a car or go to a private school? Well, yeah, <laughs> tough, tough choice, right? Well, I'd raise my hand if I were 18 years old yeah. and say, heck yes, man, yeah. what kind of car is it? I was thinking get a car for you. You're at that age where you want to get a sports car, right? You want to no. get a convertible no. and drive no. around with your sunglasses on no. and waving no. at everybody. No, that's, a, that's for people who have the repressed um, I don't know how you'd say it. Uh, 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 Low self-esteem? Yes. Well, no, because then now we'll get all these phone calls. Well, I got a sports car, and that doesn't mean that I'm going to It's a lot. So you don't know how many times people just they call up and they, they say, well, what about this? And I'm like, oh, come on, man. Uh, if you're 80 years old and you're driving a Porsche, eh, that's fine with me. It's repressed adolescence trying to regain that sweet bird of youth well that's, yes. that's not gonna happen it's flown away but well, where else are we gonna go from webster groves high school and oh by the way the um where they play the football games is about yeah, about a half mile away and that's at the junior high school so if you come in here for a football game you're going to the wrong place <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but the gym's around the corners. That's true. That's true. Well, it's been here for 100 years. I hope it's here for another 100 years. Yeah, and we won't be around to see it, but uh, some of these trees probably will be. Oh, that's true. Yeah. Well, where are we going to go from here, Ed Brown? We don't know, but we're going to go someplace new, Final. relevant. Surprise me. Yes. Yes, indeed. All right. From Brown and Brown. Uh... Hi, this, um, we are in front of Holy Redeemer Catholic Church, which is fitting because the Sisters of Loretta 
We're just right up the street right here. And um, yes, I've gone to mass here. And Ed, do you have anything to? Well, the Sisters of Loretto, I just found this out, were founded in Narinx, Kentucky, which is where Narinx Hall, the uh, high school, gets its name from. And the Narinx uh, High School are the markers. Oh, I didn't know that. Yes, they are the markers. What is a marker? Well, that's a good question. <laughs> you Narinx grads know the answer to it, but uh, might be something you guys have to look up. But the Narinx uh, High School are the markers. And, well, let's uh, put a big mark right here and say, yay, markers! I assume it's probably the name of a pen or something. But here's the situation, it's like the Billikens. No other team has, is, has the same name as the Billikens. And what is the Billikens? Well, what is well, the it's a little, uh, uh, from the uh, Asian, uh, it's kind of like a Buddha. It's a happy little creature who smiles and but anyway, this is a, we're gonna visit a little bit more of Webster University, which is a thriving campus. Um, yeah. Did you All ever women think? until, oh, that's what, right. the 50s? Yeah. Yes. And, and um, uh, yeah, that was. So uh, now it has a great program for uh, art, film, music. Yes. So and if you are. We've employed some Webster grads. So if you, yeah, I'd have no problem sending my, my child to oh. <laughs> but these trucks I got to tell you how big does a truck have to be I saw that I mean this guy it's it's almost like a tractor trailer and I'm like why do you have to have all that and there's nothing in their bed or anything else I they're probably trying to you're gonna upset all the truckers in our audience Oh, I, I love truck that. drivers. I'm sorry. <laughs> Goodness sakes. The truck drivers are Yeah, don't say anything bad about truckers. We love truckers. We love truckers. Oh, <laughs> uh, huh. However, I, I still think, why do you need a, a, a truck that big? I mean, well, you got to get goods from one place to another, don't you? Oh, you got to put I, it on a train? No, it's some place no, that I'm you got to get I'm just talking about pickup trucks. Yeah, well, you know, if you're going to move your furniture, what are you going to do? You're going to put it in the back of your... Your uh, Ford uh, Honda Civic Fiesta? Right yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. All right, we'll do. Well, well we love our truckers. Ah! All right. Well, <laughs> all right. We we've, we've exhausted this one. All right. So, well, so um, the next stop, you don't know, but don't change the channel. We got a lot of whole good stuff coming on. Don't do it. You've don't already do it, seen the it. Seinfeld rerun. It's the same old thing. Yeah. <laughs> all right. From here at. St. Um, our Holy Redeemer Church, goodbye for now. Ah! Well, Webster University, big school, 10,000 students, right? Yes, yeah, 10,000 students and 170, uh-oh. for whom the bell tolls it tolls for thee that's that is correct well let's get back to Webster University and they have a hundred ninety thousand um, hundred seventy thousand oh, hundred seventy thousand yeah you give oh. them twenty thousand too many oh, sorry about that but anyway um, on four continents they're all over the world it's a huge international campus and um, I think I saw one in, uh, in the Philippines of all places yeah and uh, Vietnam and places like that. But um, what else can you say about Webster University? Um, it started a long, long time ago with uh, Loretto. Sisters of Loretto. It was called Loretto College at one time. It was Webster College when I was growing up. And then they changed to university. I guess the universe, sure. the universal school. So the university now applies. And uh, yeah, it's right in the heart of Webster. It's, uh, with Narings Hall, it's right next to Webster High School. So it's uh, 
you got all kinds of students in this little area mm -hmm. of Webster Groves on Lockwood. Um, and I always remember when I was um, in college, I took th four years of German because my mom's, no, my grandma spoke German, my great grandma spoke yeah. German and everything else. So I, I wanted to go to Germany for a year. And I can always remember my pop, he's saying, oh, that's great. Good luck paying for it. I said, no, well, Dad, I can't afford that. And he goes, well, <laughs> too bad. And that, that brings another question. You know, um, we used to, we never did go to a Catholic school. And people always say, well, why didn't you go to a Catholic school? And Ed, we couldn't, like, we couldn't well, afford it. It cost a lot of money. Yeah, we couldn't afford yeah, it, uh, I mean to tell you. So public schools, here we come. Remember, I, I got accepted to FIT, Florida Institute of Technology. Yeah, that wasn't happening. <laughs> oh my gosh, you're gonna go to Florida for four years? I'd never come home. Well, but Mizzou anyway. was a good no, state school, and back in those days, the state actually paid a lot for their mm -hmm. universities. They've been cutting uh, funding for years and years now, but uh, back when we were growing mm -hmm. up, uh, the tuition was low. $1,200 yeah. a year, and then it was the dorms. And yeah. then $800 for yeah. um, the That's dorms, right. so it was $3,000. That and included, they never- uh, three meals yes. of uh, very starchy food. I like the food! <laughs> I liked it. I like the it chocolate is. milk. Oh my gosh. I drank a lot of that stuff. Oh, I, and then I, I like steak and shrimp night. You know? Oh my gosh, and people would yeah. feast on that. Yeah. And I used to work in the cafeteria, so I knew what was edible and non-edible. Yes. And we had, supposedly, uh, the frozen burgers are the, were the same at our dormitory uh, cafeteria as with the prisoners. <laughs> I think it was the stuff the prisoners didn't want. <laughs> okay, that's right. They would have rioted if they were fed them that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, no, the, the students, you know, 18 year old eat anything. Oh, that's true. Cast iron stomachs. And, but I did uh, get food, food poisoning once, which was. Yeah, you uh, always get food poisoning. You got a delicate system or something. I don't think so. I mean, it was 53 people went to the hospital. And I didn't go because I didn't have any insurance and I didn't have any money. So I just, you know, for a week, it was, um, wasn't a good situation. Yeah. The toilet bowl was a fond memory. <laughs> you probably ate some rotten fast food. No, it was uh, cheese and the, um, and the scrambled eggs. Aha. Uh -huh. It was rancid cheese. I see. They detected it and there it was. Yeah. But Well, call Brown and Brown. <laughs> If you've had scrambled eggs with That's right. polluted cheese, call us now. That's right. <laughs> All right, anything else to, about uh, Webster University? No, nope, we like Webster University. If you're a Webster grad, we're right there with you. All right. Love you guys. Yes. Adios from now. Yep. Goodbye. Hurt in a car wreck or hurt on a job? Call Brown & Brown now for a risk-free consultation. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. Questions? We'll answer them for you, risk-free. At Brown & Brown, we'll fight for you and your legal rights. We only get paid if you collect. So if you've been injured in a car wreck or hurt on a job, call Brown & Brown now. In Missouri, dial all threes. In Illinois, dial all eights. And at Brown & Brown, if you can't come to us, we'll come to you. All right, Ed Brown, what do you know about the Webster Groves um, train station? Well, trains have been coming here for over 100 years, and uh, it's right in the heart of Webster, like most train stations. They tend to be right in the middle, smack middle of town. And uh, we grew up by railroad tracks, so That's we true. know all about uh, trains. I used to watch them go down, and I just to dream about being a hobo and hopping the trains and Heading to California. Jeez, <laughs> that would be something. But oh, um, it, this was established in 1909, and they have a model. Um, what Big is Bend, Bend Railroad Club. Uh, all right. You can Google it. Oh, that'd and, be kind of uh, neat. Yeah, but do, you come here. Do you think 
trains are as popular now than they were like in the 1950s and 60s? Not riding them. There's still a lot of people that enjoy uh, toy train sets. Uh, I always remember model, model trains. Famous bar. Famous bar used to and Yeah, they had know. a big train set. Yeah. And I, we would always go down roads, there. River, yeah, Road River Roads, that's right. It was it was uh, on the top tier. That's right. It was Jeez. all around. Boy, that, those were the days. Yeah. Oh, no, I didn't say that. Ah, we're going to get... <laughs> but anyway, um, no, I, I never had a train set. And the reason being is because I don't think we could afford it, uh, one. I mean, when we were growing up. Well, you had other toys. You had your uh, operation game. Oh, that's true. Remove wrenched ankle. Yeah. <laughs> Zeke. I wish it, it'd be kind of more fun if it would give you an electric signal up your arm and you're like, ah, you your idiot. Broken heart, yeah. <laughs> what is it? What were other games? Monopoly. Everybody knew Monopoly. Stratego. Stratego. That was, that was a fun good. one. And then people would say, no, you didn't have my bomb. And then you found out later ah. there is a bomb and I got mad. Never play with a liar. Yeah, it's a, yeah. And what was it? Who, you sunk my battleship? Battleship. That was a fun one. Okay, battleship. Did we have that game? Bro? Risk. Oh, that's right, Risk. Ukraine is very strong in Risk. Oh, really? Always get Ukraine, yes. Oh, okay. And Kamchatka. Those are good, uh, good territories to own. You can expand, take over the world. I just remember in the dorms when I was at uh, Mizzou, these people would stay up all night long playing uh, Risk. Or what? Dungeons and Dragons was a big one. Oh, that, that came on later. They like Dungeons and Dragons. That's kind of boring. I mean, if you're going to do something, why don't you do something uh, productive, like uh, studying a little bit, learning the subject matter, yeah. learning the quadratic formula. Well, you did that, and look where it got you. I'm right here. Yeah. yeah. I'm right, right here, and so. I'm... I'm Pleased to be here. Wait a minute, I hear something in the distance. Wait a minute, what is that? Here comes the train. Oh boy, let's not get run over. Guess we gotta move on to the next spot. All right, we'll do. Off we go. And where we go, we're not sure, but it's gonna be a lively place. Spin the, uh, speaking of games, you spin the needle and wherever it lands, that's where we're gonna go next. That's it. All right. So play the brown and brown drinking game. Uh, that's, uh, that's not yeah, have it's every time. Every time you say, every time you go like this, you got to take a shot. Yeah. Okay, we'll do. I'll go for that. But I don't do shots. I, I drink beer only. Well, whatever. All right, we'll do. Drink, uh, a, drink a bottle of beer. Every time Dan goes like this, you got to you got to take a drink. Uh, <laughs> okay, I'll spread it out a little bit. All right, from here to there to everywhere, and we are going to go someplace else. But don't change the channel. This is riveting TV. That's right. We're trying our hardest. Please, I got three children to take care of. Help us out. Got to take another drink. All right, here we are in front of Mary Queen of Peace Catholic Church. This is where I go to Mass on every Sunday. And what can I say about it? Well, my, my children all went to uh, elementary school here at Mary Queen of Peace. They um, got a very good education and uh, no regrets whatsoever. And a good Catholic foundation. And they all enjoyed it. And then they all went to, we'll be seeing this later, Visitation Academy, and they started at sixth grade, and you know now uh, my youngest is going to be a senior. If I shed a couple tears, uh, I'm shedding the tears because of the tuition for the for the uh, colleges and the universities. That's what I'm shedding a tear for. Goodness yeah. sakes, you got three people in college, and here it's a lot of money. I mean, right now we're looking at $55,000. Ah! So you have some connections with this church, I take it. Oh, yes, yes. So we're not was... going to get kicked out? What's that? We're not going to get kicked out of here by... Uh... Oh, no, I hope not. Anyway, um... I hey, was... Brown, get out of here. What are you doing? Bra get off our grass. <laughs> <laughs> but, um... I, I, oh, 
three of my daughters were uh, baptized here, of course, and we still got the baptismal, um, what do they call it? Uh, Certificate? No, well, the certificate and also the little, the dress, the, the dress or whatever. Mm. And um, no, it's a great parish, a great school. And um, we'll give you another look at the school. And well, Ed, do you, any, do you have anything to add? Not really. No, Can I ask you not, a question? Not, not my, uh, not my just, church. Just a quick question. Shoot. Put your shoe up right there, please. You like this shoe? If you can get a close-up of that shoe, that I think nice? um, Wally, Cle Wally Cleaver would wear something like that. <laughs> yeah, see, it matches the, the, the Spartan, the tartan, matches the, uh, my suit. See, I try to coordinate, unlike you, who wears those clot hoppers. Uh, you know, I beg your pardon, but I let got, me say this. I got shoes that actually cost some <laughs> It looks like it should be in the Smith dough. Smithsonian Institution or something like that. Men's shoes, <laughs> fashion and men's shoes don't change much. Well, you that's know? true. Lapels don't either. And, that's a good point. I'll, I'll you know, I'll, I'll, you wearing I'm those black uh, Frankenstein boots. I don't I don't know why you're talking about my shoes. Well, they used to say uh, <laughs> some stompers. What was it? Uh, clod hoppers. Clod hoppers. Yeah. I remember mom. Our feet were growing so quick when we were kids, but then Ed, you know, then I'd have to have Ed's old shoes, and Bill would have Greg's old shoes, and well, everything else. we put else. some cardboard in the soles. Oh, that's so true would, too. Uh, and then we had yeah. holes in the in the in the shoes, and we just said, yeah. "Man, what the heck?" And well, I remember I was kind of embarrassed, second grade, and I'm my toes are. <laughs> well, gave him a little uh, ventilation. No, they weren't true. holes; they were for ventilation. Yeah, so I, I agree. But those were the good old days, and um, well, man, we keep shoes until we die. That's true you know? because you, your feet I've got don't grow. the same grow. shoes I had 20 years ago. Hey, your yeah. your feet don't gr grow, do they? Uh, I don't think so. I don't think so. Your nails do. Well, anyway, we're gonna go a sure long, to cut your toenails. That's long a... ways away, and that long, long ways away is right in front of the school. All right. Well, Are you let's... ready for some scholastic? Let's do it. Let's go. Here we go. Enough is enough. All right. For Mary the, Queen of Peace, for pray the, for us. Okay, we're at the school now, and as you can see, the seed that falls on good ground will yield a fruitful harvest which sounds like something we might have learned in our Kung Fu class. Um, it's a cone, K-O-A-N. A nice, uh, calms you, makes you one with nature. Anyway, go ahead. Well, I'm just wondering, how, how does that <laughs> um, relate to, to the school the Well, the why is it printed on the uh, board there? You tell me. The prophets are, uh, are Printed on the subway walls. <laughs> Do you remember the that? words of the prophets? <laughs> yeah. Hey. Simon and Garfunkel. Yes. yes. Can All you right. tune it? Can you? Can I play it? You got your harmonica? Uh, I can't play it on the harmonica. Oh. But I can play it on the guitar. We're right. getting back to the school. Uh, my children came here in kindergarten, and they all left in sixth grade, and they got a good, um, solid Catholic education. All right, All right, so we've done it. Let's go. All right. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hi, and I'm here at the Art of Entertaining, and I have a special guest here, and that is Annie. And Ann, <laughs> tell us a little bit about this is a le legacy of, of how many years? 25, it'll be 26 in October. Oh my goodness. Well, tell us a little bit about the art of entertainment. I'd entertainment. love to. Well, I'd love to. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so actually it's all carry out. So you can't come in and sit down, but you can take it home and have a fabulous meal at your home. Mm -hmm. And um, basically we offer breakfast, lunch, dinner, all for carry out again. And um, everything's homemade here at the Art of Entertaining. And uh, we've really been doing this for a long time. We, I feel like we've really perfected it, you know, as far as taking it home and being able to reheat your meal whenever you're ready to eat. 
Um, we've, uh, we have great box lunches, individual party trays, all kinds of appetizers. Everything's made from scratch. So I feel uh, really confident that you'll like everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, the owner knows, and you, and yeah, you're the you owner, can tell so, I eat yeah. the food here. So, so and um, what's the specialty? If somebody comes in and says, "Okay, do I get a sandwich? Do I get some chili?" What, what? Okay, well, those are both of those are good. One is our chicken salad is phenomenal. Okay, it's way better than anyone else in town. Even though you may say something else, it's not true. <laughs> I'll and, be the judge of that. Go ahead. You're modest. definitely having that, right? <laughs> right? Your modesty becomes. You. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so, and actually, I would also say our white bean chicken chili is extremely popular and also really great. And it's a signature item. I've had it before and Have it is you? very good. Yes. Oh, good. Yes. good. Oh, thanks, yes. thanks. Mm. And other than that, I would say any of our red sauce pastas are really what we're known for as well. Uh, we really have a great red sauce here, as well as a white sauce too. But the red is what really stands out, I think, with a lot of people. And so it's from scratch, right? Yeah, it is. And what it are is. your hours? <laughs> our hours are nine to six, Monday through Friday, and Saturday from 10:30 until four. All right. Well, what else can you tell us? You got a beautiful location here. This has been, you've been in um, this area. This, this Webster place. Groves, it's Webster the best, Groves, yes. 25 years. Jeez. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. It's a great neighborhood. We have lots of people who just are really great to the local businesses, for our small businesses. We just really, you know, firm on making sure that you buy small business yes, that's stuff. So. How's and your I, landlord? <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, that's really. good. <laughs> Keep that good is you? Terms it with is, your yeah. Oh, you're the landlord. Yeah. Keep in good terms with your landlord. <laughs> That's right. So, and actually, I will tell you that also something that we're really well known for is our gourmet carryout dinners. Oh, wow. So you can come in and you can get it for just one person. You can get it for five people. You can get it for 12. You know, you could have a party. Oh, right. So um, those are all really popular as well. And our salads. I should, well, everything here is good. I don't know what to That's say. Right. If you're seeing this at <laughs> four in the morning, wait a few hours till they open up and then come on down. There you go. Definitely. And everything's really healthy, too. I should mention that. No preservatives. No nothing like that. You know? Well, you've yeah. sold me again. So you get any fresher here. when you make it by scratch. That's, That's right, it. right? It's good stuff. Well, thank you very much, Ann, for having us. And uh, oh, no. Um, no <laughs> I'll, I'll take right. that. <laughs> and from Brown and Brown and the art of entertaining. Goodbye from now. But come in and visit this young lady. Yes. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Might even see us here. Yeah.